Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. It's been a long time. Sorry. Today, we are doing a, um, animal figurine review. Tiny doesn't know what it is. I do not. So I took a gamble and ordered this off Amazon, which I don't like to do because I don't know how real it is. And also, I would prefer supporting self-made businesses rather than Amazon because, like, they have plenty of money. So, it looks real, so we're going to open it. It looks like the real box. It doesn't look like it would be fake. This is the Penso Stegosaurus. And maybe! Oh, ah! <laughs> How cute it is! Okay, so I've been eyeing this for a long time. Um, like I said, I wanted to order from Happy Hen Toys. But they're having some kind of issue with their website, at least for me, so I was not able to. But they, Happy Hen Toys, they do have Penso on their website now, so if you can get it to work, highly suggest um, supporting them because these are also not that cheap to get because they come from, you know, the other side of the world. So, yeah, that's why I did not want to support Amazon, but here we are. Um, Alright, let's open it up. I'm really excited to see him. Um, it looks to be about the size that I would expect. Um, all the Penso figurines, I think, kind of correspond with each other. Like, you can set them up at the same time. I have a couple of other Penso things. Um, one being the Spinosaurus from the previous a previous video that my friend got for me for my birthday? Christmas? I think so. Okay. Birthday. There's so much just things everywhere. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so far the box did come up a little dented, but I don't care about the box because we're not going to keep this in the box. Okay. So their names are Bibber and Rook. Oh wow, they're even smaller than I thought. Okay, never mind, this is tiny. Oh my gosh. Look how absolutely minuscule he is. He is smaller than a Playmobil figurine. Oh. 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 Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay. <laughs> to be really small, the texture is really good. And like the detail is actually pretty good. It's painted really well. I was definitely expecting it to be a little bit bigger than this. Um. Very, very small, but still very, very cute. And here's Mama. I'm guessing, I think this is Bibber, Biber and Rook, or Bibber and Rook, I don't know. Here's Mama, there she is. Throw this trash out of here. Look how cute! Aw, oh, she's so pretty. Here we go, we have Okay, you guys gotta go. All right. We have mama and baby. Look how cute they are. Again, a lot smaller than I thought. So never mind. Um, the Penta Spinosaurus, I think, is a deluxe because he's definitely much more massive than this. Um, I guess these are like the normal ones, like not a deluxe one, just like a normal figurine one. Um, but as you can see, the detail is still very, very good. Like, especially, like, this feels like there's nothing in my hand. But it's still, like, well made. It's, um, it's like a hard plastic. It's not rubber. Um, this part, these are a little bendy up here. So I just gotta, I don't know, I might leave them like that. Maybe it's like a, that looks more, you know, like, maybe it got bent in a T-Rex fight or something. I don't know. Um, I like the paint job. It looks very natural. I'm glad they didn't go with like super bright colors or anything. And I like how, you know, babies are always a different color um, to blend in with the environment. So think of like dinosaurs during their age, like grass, green, fern. So they have the baby looking a little bit more brighter green to help protect it, blending in with, you know, in the nest and uh, in the grass, you know. So I like how that is a brighter color versus this. Um, and I like how they have the red in here, because like, I don't know how we know this, but apparently there's a fact about a Stegosaurus. The sun would come through, and it would show like that it was looked like blood or something, and it would be used to help 
fend off from predators. Again, I don't know how, I think they just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's cool if it's true. So I like how they made that coloring. The sizing compared between them is really good. Um, just just look look at it. I like how he's like standing up too. Like it's not just just there. You know what I mean? Like he's he's doing something. Maybe he's playing or something. Yeah, you don't often see figurines, especially four-legged herbivores, in a position of action. So that's pretty cool. We'll turn around here. You see the tail is kind of whipped around. Maybe it's protecting the baby. Maybe it looks like it's about to hit something. I like the face looks very like reptilian. It has that like the the neck part looks like you know like a what am I trying to say? Like you know the neck of like a lizard. It's very reptilian. I don't know. Like a turtle. Yeah, like a little turtle or something. And these are they're sharp, but they're bendy. So unlike a lot of the dinosaur figurines I have, it, it, it genuinely hurts when you touch it. I mean, it, it hurts. Like I wouldn't want to like use a lot of force, but it's, you know, not like a real tooth, <laughs> you know, like I swear some of the figurines I have, they use some kind of real bone or something because they're ridiculously sharp. What do you think, Tiny? I like them. I also, when, when you brought out the box, I expected them to be a lot bigger, mm -hmm. but I think this is more convenient because that's true. They still look good. You know, but yeah. they're they're not gonna like these could actually fit on a shelf somewhere, you know. That's true. Easy display. Yeah. And you can still get really good, like, realistic photography with it. Right. Too. Especially the baby. I'm excited to do stuff with the baby. Cause that's why I got cause they have it um one figurine of just this, but I think the positioning is a little different. Mm -hmm. Um and I thought about getting that one too, that way it was like a family or a herd or something. Um, but I gotta in the future, if I do decide to get just this one, um, make sure the sizing is the same because it'd be ridiculous if it was like, you know, a massive stegosaurus here. Um, you know, when you want to try to put together a herd, you got to make sure it's, you know, they're the same size, otherwise it looks ridiculous. But um, I know I have, this would look really good with Popo dinosaurs. I think the sizing would be about the same. Um, I'm spe especially I'm thinking of the Popo classic um, brown T-Rex, like in size comparison I think it would be about the same. I think the T-Rex would be just a little bit bigger, but um, I'm trying to think of other... Schleich, the coloring of Schleich dinosaurs are not realistic, they're very bright colors, so I would not recommend pairing these with a Schleich dinosaur, but definitely either Popo more Penso, um, Collecta does really well with coloring, but, um, I don't know. I think I like these just being as a solo display pair, because, like, they're already, like, I don't know, they look good together. So, rating-wise, again, um, a lot smaller, and it's my own fun. I never read how, they give, like, like, on the website, they'll tell you the height and size of them and all that stuff. And I just like, don't read it, you know? And, um, but seeing them as they are, I don't know, I still would give it a 10 out of 10. I know I do that for a lot of figurines, but like the detail is nice. The texture, like you can see like bumps on the Stegosaurus. Like it's not just like smooth plastic. Like, so there's detail, the paint job is good. Um, the sizing between the baby and the mother is really, really well. Um, even like, how small that is. I keep knocking her over. How small she is, she's still very detailed, also has texture. Um, if the sizing is going to bother you with your collection, I would say either not get these or have these be a solo display and build your collection around them. Um, cause it is smaller than a lot of my other dinosaurs that I have. Um, but definitely, like, Stegosaurus is, like, one of my top five herbivores cause it just looks so, like, look at that. Like, it's so cool. Like, this existed once, you know? It's really, really cool. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, I would like to be able to post the link from Happy Into- I'll do that anyway. Hopefully you can get it to work. Um, I guess I'll post the link 
to Amazon. I guess I can do that. <laughs> but Happy Hint Toys will be first. Um, so yeah, I'll try to get more videos uploaded. Um, this is like, I guess it's the first of the year, isn't it? Yeah, the first video upload of 2022. And I will see you guys next time. And yeah, dinosaurs are cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>